home sign you made for your daddy. Ah, welcome home from Gunfighter. That's adorable. That's Gil Matz in the Gunfighter. Yeah? There's his deputy, Jesse. <laughs> there's Dr. Barton. And there's Daddy. <laughs> Daddy's gonna love it. I'll be out front, Mommy. I'm gonna hang up my sign and wait for Daddy. Okay, dear. What time is that father-daughter dinner tonight? Eight. If he gets here soon, they can still make it. You know, I think I liked it better when he had his talk show. At least he came home every night. You know, I really am getting a little anxious. I have a feeling. Why, you feel like that when I'm away? No, when you're home. <laughs> you know, it's funny. We move here from Arizona so Dick can be where the work is. And what happens? He ends up working in Arizona. <laughs> Hello? Dick, honey, where are you? I'm still on Flagstaff. What? We haven't finished shooting yet. I'm only in one more short scene, but they won't get to me before the last flight's out of here. Honey, why didn't you go before? We've all been waiting. We were way out on the desert. There's no phones out there. <sighs> Honey. Annie's all dressed and ready to go to that father-daughter van, couldn't she? Yeah, for two hours. Oh, boy. Where is she? She's outside waiting for you to drive up. Call her in, honey. Let me talk to her. Yeah, okay. Uh, Richard, would you mind getting Annie? Sure, I get to give her the bad news, right? She was just beginning to like me. <laughs> Honey, she's going to be so disappointed. I don't know, honey. What can I do? Daddy wants to talk with you. Where is he? He's on the phone, dear. Oh. Hi, Daddy. Where are you? Hi, honey. Listen, I got a problem. I, I can't get home tonight. Oh, Daddy. Well, honey, I, I'm not going to be able to make that dinner, I'm afraid. But you promised. Maybe you can go with somebody else. Who? Well, uh, what about your little friend Lisa? You said both her daddies were going. <laughs> leave right now and we'll go for the award. Oh, I wish I could, sweetheart. I just can't leave. Oh, honey, I got your autographs from Gil Matson and Jess Barton. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, honey, I'll, I'll see you after school tomorrow, hon. I'm really sorry. I know. Would you put Mommy back on? Okay. Bye. Bye, sweetheart. Mommy. Hey. Okay. Try and cheer up, will y'all? Try and make it up to her tomorrow. Right. I'll see you in my afternoon, probably. Give uh, Christy and Annie a big kiss for me. Oh. When I get home, I'll take care of you personally. <laughs> okay, dear. I miss you. I miss you. Bye. Oh. I'm sorry, Annie. Oh, darn. What a shame. Still of mind, I do know a very important television star who would love to take a pretty girl like you to that father and daughter dinner. Would you be interested? Not unless it's Bobby Sherman. <laughs> Not even Alan Sherman. <laughs> Thank you, anyway. Okay. to the 4th Cavalry reporting man? Honey, what are you doing home? I found out they rent cars in Flagstaff. I traded in my horse and headed west. <laughs> what time is it? Uh, 6.30 a.m. I just couldn't see myself staying alone in that motel one more night. Oh, I'm so glad. Hey, how's Annie? Oh, she's fine. She, she knew it wasn't your fault. Oh, good. I wore my uniform home. Thought you might get a kick out of it. You know, my first western and everything. How do I look? <laughs> Mighty handsome. Well, you don't look so bad yourself, ma'am. <laughs> Uh, tell me something, uh, you ever been with a cavalry officer? I don't think I've ever had the pleasure, sir. Well, you're in for a treat, man. <laughs> but forget it, there's no way you can be with a cavalry officer. Oh, you're so dashing, I tell you. Get this thing off. <laughs> Oh, boy, this is more like it. Oh, you smell so good. I'm glad, because one of us smells like a horse. <laughs> 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 
That's my horse, Rex. You know, he may smell, but he was a very, very smart horse. I better take a shower, I guess. You know how many days it was? I didn't have a shower? How many? <laughs> oh. A little music wouldn't hurt anything. <laughs> Save my place. Thank you. <laughs> Good morning. I have a message for Dick Preston. Is he home? No, he's working. Uh, your mother home? She's sleeping. Oh, well, you be sure to give this to her then, all right? Okay. Here, sign for it, please. Right here. I don't have any money for a chip. Here. Oh, the whole box? There's only one left. Thanks. Bye. Did you get that scratch on your side? Uh, did it with that dumb sword. The director yelled cut and I cut myself. <laughs> oh, honey, I really missed you. Yeah. I missed you too. I sure appreciate you taking that long drive home. Uh, it was worth it. This is station KBEX. The time is now 7.20. No. Ah, uh, well, I guess it's time for me to get up. Why don't you stay and get some rest? I'll go make Annie her breakfast. No, honey, let me do it. I want to surprise her anyway. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Wait a minute. I've got 10 more minutes to rest. Don't let me go to sleep, though. I got a big apology to make to Annie for missing that dinner. Spies, honey, I'm home. Hi, Daddy. Hey, don't I get a big kiss? Uh -huh. Oh, your mouth's full. Okay. Hey, wear my uniform home so you can see it. What do you think? It's nice. <laughs> hey, did you make this sign? Uh-huh. Well, thanks, honey. That's terrific. Who's this guy without a nose here? Is that me? I didn't finish it. Yeah, well, it's probably just as well, too. Oh, here's the autographs I promised you. Look at here. There's Gil Matson. Look what he wrote. To Annie with love and kisses. Big Gil. And here is Jesse. Look at that. And look what Doc Barton wrote. Look, honey, I don't blame you for being mad at me. I'm not mad. Look, why don't we do something special tonight, just you and me, huh? I'm sleeping at Lace's tonight. Excuse oh. me. Bye. Oh. Bye. Oh, honey, aren't you going to wear your shoes? <laughs> oh. I know what you're thinking. <laughs> honey, sometimes these things just happen. <laughs> I remember something like this happened when I was young, and I, I know how you feel, but you gotta understand, hey, they just happen sometimes. <laughs> Believe me. And I'm gonna try and see that it doesn't ever happen again. <laughs> okay? okay. I just want you to know that, that this time I couldn't help and it wasn't my fault. Believe me. I bet you was a surprised to see Daddy home, huh? Yeah, I have to go to school. Bye. What's wrong with her? I think she's a little miffed with me. Well, that's strange. She was fine last night. Well, don't worry about it, honey. Whatever it is, you'll get over it. Yeah. You want some eggs? Uh, I don't think so. I think I'm too tired to eat. Any mail I don't know about, honey? No, not really. Oh, yeah, those uh, tickets came for the Film Society dinner on Tuesday. Oh, nuts. That's right. I'll have to take my tux to the cleaners, I guess. I took it yesterday. Oh, thanks, sweetheart. Hey, you know what I think I want to do? I think I want to take a nap. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea, babe. You want to take a nap with me? <laughs> Come on. I think you'll rest better alone. Yeah, I guess you're right. If I can get to sleep. Move them out! <laughs> Come in with your milk, Chrissy. <laughs> well, hi, 
Hi, Annie. How's school, sweetheart? Fine. Here's my report card. Oh, fine. Can I take Christmas bottle? Sure, it's fine. Hi, Annie. Hi, Annie. Annie home? Yeah. She talking to you yet? No. I need a report card, though. Oh, yeah? How is it? Fine, doggone it. Why doggone it? Well, I was just hoping maybe the problem was the report card that we could handle. Well, I'm telling you, it really bothers me for people who say that children should be seen and not heard and never lived with a silent child. It disturbs me, you know? Do you think maybe she misses her friends in Phoenix? Oh, I doubt it. In fact, she said her friend Lisa that is her best, best friend she ever had. You should tie for tonight. Oh, thanks. Well, I might give up. You know, she can't look me in the eye at all. You say that she wasn't upset before I got home that night. No, but she was upset in the morning. Well, see, then it couldn't have been that dinner. It had to be something between the time she went to bed and I saw her at breakfast the next morning. <laughs> Anything unusual happened during the night? No. The only thing unusual was you coming home and surprising. Dick. Hmm? Do you think she surprised us and walked in on us? Huh? <laughs> no, no, I mean, no. I mean, she, she, well, I, the, door, I, the door was locked. She, no, I walked in. The door wasn't locked. I always leave it when you're away. Uh. Tick, I bet that's it. Well, yeah, I mean, it's, it's a <clears throat> possibility. I hope there are other possibilities. How do we find out? The only thing to do is just ask her. Right. No. No, I mean, it'd embarrass her. Unless we can ask her in such a way that if, if she doesn't know what we're talking about, then we didn't ask the question. How do you do that? How do you do that? I don't even know what you said. Good. I mean, if she doesn't understand what we're saying, we've done our part, haven't we? Dick, I tell you what. You find out if she did walk in on us. And if, in fact, she did, then I'll take over and do the rest. Yeah, okay, that's fair. Go get her. Honey, <laughs> hey, what, what, what am I going to say? I'm say. It's all right. You, you're good with words, Dick. You, you think of something. Yeah. <laughs> Annie? Annie, I'd like to talk to you. No, Mommy told me. <laughs> yeah, well, I'd like to talk to you, sweetheart. You want to sit down a minute? How you feeling? Fine. Good. How's school? Fine. You look good. <laughs> good marks, yeah. Everything's fine there. Is that all, Daddy? No, honey, I was... <laughs> you know, we played a, a cute game when I was in Arizona, honey. It's called Association. Would you like to play it? No. Yes. <laughs> See what I did there? You said no, and I said the first thing came into my mind, and that was yes. That's the game. That's how you play it. Isn't that fun? Okay, now I'm going to give you a word. And I want you to just say the first word that comes into your mind. Ready? Set. Well, I know. I, that's very good. I just meant were you ready. Okay. Here's the first word. Forest. Tree. Good. Bad. No. Yes. No, yeah. no, I just meant you were doing good. Uh, uh, bedroom. Kitchen. Bed. Sleep. Uh, mommy. Pretty. Uh, Daddy? Tall. Um, love. Like. Um, baby? Bottle. Bed. You gave me that one. Yeah, well, I'm trying to... I think it's some other bed. I have to go do my homework. I'll play oh. you some other time. Doesn't that fun, honey? Yes, Daddy. <laughs> honey? Bees. I'm sorry. <laughs> Thank you. I think you may be onto something. Oh, no. What, honey? Those were just innocent answers. Exactly. I think she's deliberately skirting. Now, when you said mommy, she should have said daddy. Yeah, I know, but she said pretty. Right. She should have said daddy. And when you said bedroom, she said kitchen. Now, she's obviously avoiding the obvious. I don't know. I, you know, kids' minds are less corrupt than ours. I, with an adult, love would get you hate. Now, she said light. Now, that's pretty sweet. Yes, it is. Well, honey, we don't know any more now than we did before. Hmm. 
Well, look, why don't we just go to that dinner and try to have a good time? We better start getting ready, too. Uh -huh. You know, I hate leaving her with a sitter when she's upset. Yeah. How important is this dinner anyway? Well, I might meet some interesting people, maybe. Well, I hope one of them is a child psychologist. Yeah. You got another tie. <laughs> I am furious. A little man hasn't got a chance to get to model it like that. You know what I ought to do? I ought to make them pay for the babysitter tonight in the first place. I'm not going to let them get away with this. Why do I feel foolish? When I get through with them, they're going to know they've been... Hello? This is Dick Preston. Preston, P.I. Yeah. Look, last Friday a message was sent to me and hasn't even got here yet. And because of you, huh? Thank you. I'm gonna give you a supervisor. Hello, this is Dick Preston. Look, last Friday a message was sent to me about the postponement of the Film Society banquet and, huh? No, I, I went there and I talked to the people. They told me about the, huh? No, the janitor told me. That's who told me. I don't know where. 7, 10 a.m. in the morning? No, sir, my wife did not sign for it. Mister, my wife is sitting right here beside me and she's shaking her head no. She, did, she didn't sign for I don't care what kind of signature you got, she didn't sign it. What? Arnie Preston, I don't even know an Arnie Preston. You dumb dumb, you delivered it to the wrong house. Okay. What? Annie Preston? Oh, for, it's not Arnie Preston, it's Annie Preston. Can't you jerks even read down there? <laughs> huh? Honey, how could Annie forget to deliver the message? Honey, I don't think she forgot it. 7, 10, 8, <laughs> she, she tried to deliver it. <laughs> what would that be under? Childhood traumas, peaking, eavesdropping, what? I don't think Dr. Spock covers this one. Yeah. Did you ever have that experience with your parents when you were little? My parents? Yeah. Oh, I don't think they ever. <laughs> Mine either. <laughs> You know, when I was a kid, I, I always thought my parents and the President of the United States had a different system. Well, Annie knows our system. <laughs> Honey? Huh? I think we just have to tell her that we know what happened and that we understand her feelings. And, and yeah, whatever they are. And, and that we're not upset with her, I guess. Right. Okay. Wish me luck. You going in there alone? I think she'd be a little more comfortable with just me, huh? Honey, you're a better mother than I am. <laughs> Good luck. Annie? Mommy, you're back already. Yep. The dinner was postponed. Seems a message was sent, but uh, we never got it. Sorry, Mommy. I forgot. Well, that's okay. You tried to bring me that message, didn't you? Uh-huh. And you came into our room, and you didn't know Daddy was home. Well, you know, Daddy surprised me, too. What I mean is... <laughs> he'd been gone a week, and, and I had missed him, and he had missed me, and we were just so happy to see each other. Okay. I have to finish my homework. Annie, come and sit with me a minute. Annie... What you saw was a very private thing. And that's why you're feeling embarrassed. You are feeling embarrassed, aren't you? I understand that. See, when two people love each other, they want to share and they want to be very close. And someday when you grow up and you get married, you're going to love someone too. And you're going to want to be very close to them. Who? Oh. <laughs> well, someone will come along. Well, it's nobody in my school. Especially not that dumb Billy Burton. Well, someday, somebody very special is going to come along, and then you're going to feel the same way about him that I feel about Daddy. You understand? Is it like how I feel about Bobby Sherman? Yeah, something like that. Do you like Daddy that much? <laughs> Mommy. <laughs> okay. Can I join you, ladies? What do you think, Annie? Should we let him? Okay. Hi, sweetie. I was just hanging around up there in the bedroom. I heard you gals talking. <laughs> Anything you want to ask me? Well, there is one thing. What is it, sweetheart? Are we having another baby? Huh? <laughs> no, darling, we're not. We're not? Mm -mm. Then what was all that for? <laughs> In school, Miss Thurman said... Well, honey, you don't always have a, a baby. You don't? No. <laughs> That's good. That makes you happy? Yeah, I love Chrissy, but we don't need two of him. <laughs> yeah, one of him is quite enough, huh? Hey, I need a hug. Me too. 
shoot some of my scenes. How long will you be gone? Oh, I don't, a couple of days at least, honey. You have to go back to Arizona? Yes. Uh, well, here we go again. 